What is going on YouTube? It is Flopfish here and welcome to NHL Tips and Tricks episode number 5 and this one's a bit more of a request of a few people actually now and it is how to score in NHL 13 and it's going to be the most effective way to score and so we're going to get going right off the bat here and as you can see by these first couple little clips here it's all about driving the slot. It's all about using momentum in this game to your advantage especially with the goalies. Um, a lot of people know that if you skate across a crease and uh, shoot the opposite way, it's a fairly easier way to score. Uh, it's pretty dang effective if you ask me. It's kind of too easy almost, but um, it's a way to make... It's very easy to defend at the same time. If you know what you're doing defending it, you won't ever have any of those goals scored against you. Well, maybe like once in like a blue moon, but I really have goals like that scored against me because I know how to defend it. and. If you guys really want me to get into defending it, I will, and that's probably going to be next week's video, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, on to this week's stuff, so we're going to kick it off here, and just, it's all about driving into the, into the center of the ice there, into the hash marks from one side or the other, and then just shooting it into the opposite way, and, or pulling off a nice little deke, or just shooting it short side, and what I mean by short side is that, Short side in this game, so if you're on the left side, you're shooting high left or low left or right on the left side of the net. Um, right here, you'll see short side's the right side, and short side generally scores a lot of goals in this game to me. Um, and it's just it's one of the most effective ways to score. I'm not I'm not saying it's too cheap, but I mean if it's one of the most reliable ways to score, um, everyone's going to be doing it. So. Right here you can kind of see me again do the same thing here and I'm trying to just drive the net there and that's really all you've got to do to generate scoring chances is just make sure you can cycle that puck around a little bit like right here you can see me just get the pass across and once again I try to put that shot high short side. Um, now the other things you can do with that shot is if you're going to go if you're going to go far side make sure you go low on the ice because you can generate pretty good rebounds here and then um, or you can put it low on your side too. But general consensus is if you want to score right off that shot, go high short side. If you want to generate rebounds because you really don't have a lot, like I didn't have a lot there to shoot at, so I went low low right side just to generate the rebound. And then right here, you know, you just kind of see me just take shots at the net and get lucky here, mainly because I was short-handed. But once again, that came off of offensive pressure and it came off of driving that slot. It is very, very important to make sure you're driving the slot especially when you know you you've got some good chances coming up or you got some players following up because if you're driving the slot especially with some of these goalies in these games it's fairly easy to get rebounds and it's fairly easy to score on them now right here he's doing a great job of it and that's all he's doing is getting the puck and driving it to the slot now I could my passes were not clicking for a while this is just a nice little quick tip for you guys in here is just to make sure you have one player on every line that you're really comfortable um, skating the puck up the ice with, especially in hut um, where you have more control, you want to make sure you have that one player just on every line, whether it's a defenseman or a forward, that you know if you get the puck to, you can clear your zone and get a line change. So, as a result of that, you saw me get a chance to get in on the slot and skate down and in and across and fire it against the against the green and go top right side there and hit crossbar and just. It's such an easy way to score in this game, and it's so effective that um, it's really just one of those things that you kind of have to do in this game in order if, to win. Um, and ultimately, that's what this series is about: is for you guys to win here. And you know, it's kind of it's kind of interesting just to see the many different ways that I've been able to score, and this is just the one that I've been able to score so much on. And it's just simple stuff like that: just making sure you're carrying the puck to the slot. And make sure you take note of my AI I have set up there, where the four checks one two two aggressive, and the bias is all the way on the four checking side. The reason why I have that is because it keeps the players in the offensive zone. Now, right here is a very simple play that's very effective, and it's just a nice little half wall dish, as I call it. Um, what you do is you take your one player, dish it off to your defenseman, who generally will drop down into that nice little half wall. You dish it right back to him. Because generally, especially online, it draws the defender towards you and it leaves the slot wide open where you can just come across and shoot and score. Now once again, right here, drive the net, 
get a rebound and put it in and it's just it's so effective in this game that you don't have to rely on cross crease one timers in it um, it's just a nice little way to score and using the momentum glitch it, I don't know if it's so much a glitch but it's just how you score in this game because a lot of the times it seems like if you get the goalie going the wrong ways or draw him with you you're able to score a lot easier and I think that's more of what it is but um, it's just it's really effective and combine that with some decent you know for checking you're gonna be pretty much unstoppable here and it's just one of those things in this game that if you guys really really want to be good at it you're gonna have to learn how to drive the slot from the half wall and um, it's just it's so effective like I can't stress that enough and you can just see me right here once again cycling out front driving the top of the slot there and going the opposite way actually I kind of went with the grain this time to the top right corner but um, it's just it opens up so many opportunities and especially coming back that way that I did there with the right handed shot you can actually skate out far enough to the side if you're me and shoot it far side and it works a lot of the time too and it's just it's knowing what scores goals in this game is really helpful and to me those are two of the most effective ways to score goals in this game um, now right here I was towards the end of this game it's especially since it's double pucks um, in the last minute I'm gonna go a little bit silly here and uh, try to let him score a goal here because I had a couple really lucky goals this game uh, I didn't show the one of them which was pretty much it should have been icing but somehow my player touched it first I know I hit poke check and stuff but I still don't think he should have touched it first and the puck just magically bounced right out in front to my player and just went high short side with it once again short side shot um, it's just it was a really unfortunate goal so tried to give him one back and eventually he did with like 1.4 seconds left but uh, yeah so that's pretty much it for this episode um, now onto the what you guys want to see in the rest of them now I've had a lot of talks about a few people wanting to see defensive stuff and uh, a few other people wanted to see my AI setups here like I have here um, just showing you that it's on attack there and it's really really helpful to know your AI in this game um, it helped me a little bit in 12 but in this game it's fairly important especially when the AI is so frustrating in it um, yeah so I might do a video on that and the other ones on defense I'm pretty sure that I'm working on I'm just I'm trying to get good enough clips to kind of show you what I'm talking about and then the final one is going to be well not the final one but the one I have an idea for is um, offensive zone pressure and cycling the puck because I have a new little method to it but yeah so that's pretty much it for this game game and video guys um, hopefully you enjoyed it if it helped you please let me know um, if you have any other stuff you want to see like tips on leave a comment uh, if you guys want to see more of these videos subscribe and be on the lookout for a special video coming hopefully tomorrow or the day after but anyways guys take it easy and peace out and enjoy your day